Hello everyone, my name is Nicole Winter and I'll be showing you some simple and easy to follow steps in making your very own ceramic pendants, just like the one I'm wearing right here. To begin, you first need to get some tools. The tools that you'll need are, first, a pound of clay, a damp sponge, your needle tool, three sculpting tools, any three, three different types, and your rolling pin, your wire cutter, and don't forget your container with water. You also need to have a safety overall apron protection so that you don't get your clothes messy and stuff. So gather all your tools and we will begin in a minute. Now that we have gathered all our tools and material, we are ready to begin. First, you will already, you could already um, prepare your clay ahead of time the needed process to get rid of the impurities and any particles that are there. Then you will now use your clay cutter to take off, cut the clay in half to get the desired size that you want to work with at first. Mm -hmm. You will then use your rolling pin to get um, an equal consistency in terms of the thickness that you want your pendant to be. So now we use, you could use um, any cookie cutter will do the shapes that you want your pendants to be. I like um, the butterfly. So as you can see, you could cut out the different shapes. Or you could use your needle tool and create any style or pattern or after you, that you finish cleaning up the pieces and, and making the hole for the pendant. It is now ready to to put to dry and then after the drying process, you could apply your glazes um, or your color. Here I'll be showing you how uh, to apply. These are some that I've already pre. I'm gonna do the butterfly because it's one of my favorite things to do. And you could just make little, you could do dots, you could do lines. You could just be as creative as you like. Um, after you apply your glazes, you just leave the, 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 the pendants to dry. And the drying process, it takes about two days because they're very small and thin and when it's totally dry then it's ready to be fired okay okay so now after you have dried all your pendants and the firing process is over when it is cooled and you unpack um these are the, the results As you can see here some that i have done ahead of time and then you can attach your um cards to it so that it, it is wearable like the one that i have you could you could have, do any shape, but you could be um, as expressive as you as you like, or you could be um, uh, conventional. You know, you could do something like a head, or you know, what I did here, I mixed the clay, you, two clay, and keep a natural glaze on it. Or you could just just be as creative. You could do a head, you could do abstract, and okay. so forth. Well, that is it for this segment. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.